In this video, I'm gonna finish the demolition in my hallway so I can start framing. And we're gonna do it right now. That's my thing. So here I am in my hallway area. If you've been watching, I built a wall here. Started to build a wall there anyways for the third bedroom. I'm gonna be doing my kitchen. So I wanna get this floor all straightened out. And I just have one last thing to demo and it's that right there. This closet is gonna be ripped out of here and I'm basically gonna turn this space into a closet for that room and a closet right here, a linen closet in the hallway. So I wanna get this out of here before I fix any of the framing in the basement. This floor needs to be jacked up a little bit, uh, but I don't want this to be sitting on here when I raise it up, I'll show you why. So this little jog right here, remember that. Let's go into the basement. And these are the stairs. And that little jog is this right here. So this is the wall that I'm gonna be whoa, raising up right here. And that wall is sitting basically on here. But I'm gonna end up cutting these joists like this and like this so that I can get this area out of here so it's not so awkward. It gets smaller as you go down here. So I'm gonna be opening this right up and I don't want the weight, if any, to be sitting on here once I jack that up. So stay tuned, this is happening. I'm gonna fix all this, but I wanna finish demoing first. And another reason for doing this is because I want to see how this is framed back here because I hope to be able to reuse that wall. Uh, you can see it dropped like this. I'm guessing it dropped back here, but maybe I can tighten it up with some screws or something and reuse it instead of having to rebuild it. But we'll see. Anyways, enough talking. Let's rip this thing apart. Let's start with these doors. Some of you might be wondering if I'm gonna save these. Probably not. I really don't have a use for them. Although I might be able to build like a piece of furniture out of them or something. I don't know, put it off the side, we'll see. Leadhead screws, I bet they're not that long. Long enough. measurements. Cool. And more fancy wallpaper. One, two, three layers. Drywall on the outside of the closet, but on, on the inside. Not that it matters. Now oh, this frame is twisted. Hello? Who there? None of this should be load bearing at all. There is no joist above there. So I think we're good. Reciprocating saw or sawzall, whatever you want to call it. Safety glasses. Hopefully that makes you happy. After opening that up, I have yet another indication that all this is sinking. I don't believe the ceiling is sinking, but obviously you can tell here that the floor definitely is. Uh, you can't see any cracking in the drywall or anything, which would be a very good indicator that it's sinking, but that must mean that all of the framing is sinking. So I'll take my little level, it's hard to see on camera, but that right there is level. So in 10 inches, 
this thing drops that way about a half inch. So that's probably an inch right there. So yeah, that's why we're tearing this apart. I want to see if I can save that framing or if I have to rebuild it. Here's something I see in this house a lot. Masking tape as the drywall tape. No mud. A gap. Okay. This drywall's off, and I'm a little perplexed. You see this is old drywall, and this is new drywall, and the framing changes. This is newer. Uh, this paint right here matches this paint. This is all my investigation. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what was here. Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe this used to be a shelf down in the basement here you know they had all this shelving and stuff and then maybe right here was another shelf that they had and then at one point they decided they wanted a bigger closet so they lowered the head height and framed it back in i don't know what do you guys think uh, this drywall off of this side so cut this make it easier uh, i'm gonna be careful because there is a pipe right here if you remember the video where I took the old cast iron out. There's a, an old vent hanging up in this drywall right here. There's the pipe. Look at this framing. I don't think that's doing anything. Oh, that's right. I got this piece here. That's what's holding that in. heavier than I thought it was going to be. Hey now. Makes it pretty easy when you got a big gap like this. You get a sawzall blade right in there. Let's cut this chunk of framing out here. I'm gonna take this top plate out take this leftover piece of framing off of here and then I can rip it out. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> right now. I'm gonna put that at the beginning. That's my thing, right now. Let's see if we can get these top plates out of here now. Yeah, that one will come out nice and easy. As much as I don't want to, I also want to just rip this down. What do I want to do? I'm just going to rip it down. Ew, mice poop. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't up there very good, so probably a good idea to 
Get it out of here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna put in a temporary stud. Just like that. And the closet is gone. I'm gonna leave this here and I have this piece in here. That way this is not gonna have any pressure on it down below when I raise it up because I'm raising it up right here and I have to cut this. So I didn't want any weight on that. It'll be all on that. And I will be able to use reuse this framing. I'm gonna end up cutting these here or so um, to get more head height in the basement. And then I'll frame that under there. And if it has to go up, I can push it up somehow. I'm gonna try and reuse that. I mean, it, it is where it is now. So as long as I get the ceiling correct, as in height, I should be all set and I have made a mess. So I'm gonna clean this up, take all this stuff off, probably throw some insulation up there and try and make this as safe, relatively safe as I can because I do have a one-year-old that roams around and gets into everything. So yeah, that's the deal. Let's clean it up. Hop's Gun Cleaning Patches. Frank A. Hop or Hope, Philadelphia, PA, 1940. That's pretty cool. House was built in 46. This fell from the ceiling. Pretty neat. Anyway, the majority of the demolition is done. I might end up ripping the ceiling out, but that's uh, after I frame this. So I promise the next video you see on my channel is gonna be in the basement, raising this floor up, framing it all in. And then I can frame this closet in. It's actually more work than I thought I was gonna have in this hallway area, but it's coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like it, you can click hereish and hereish and check those out. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like this content, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Now I'll attack this and see what happens.